Hello and welcome back to Death and Taxes. So we left off, we got our evaluation, and not gonna lie, Fate was a little suspicious about the red paper situation. However, when editing the last video, I noticed that the red papers didn't exactly correspond with him disappearing like I initially thought. So I have no idea if he's actually involved or not, it's just that conversation was a little cryptic. So, what is over here? Yes. You did it, Reaper. You have achieved. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Have we had this conversation? Soon, we'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. What are you rambling on about now? Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. Okay. The dusk nears. Uh huh. Well. I didn't even. Okay. I forgot what I bought. We can open this box though. Oh, yes, we got our calendar. No red paper today. We can put that in the drawer. So we're on day 15. So now I know what day we're actually. Might, eh, that might be useful on the desk, like right there. So we're on day 15. And this is the start of our new week. Right before we have our, I guess, second to last uh, performance review. Congratulations, Grim. You passed the performance review as expected, but let us not dwell on the past. I need you to focus on the future. This will be a tough day. Be attentive. Uh, quote for the day. A total of six humans have to die. At least three humans with a scientific background have to die. At least two humans age 30 or younger have to die. Okay, so... Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Nine local hikers found dead in the mountains. Circumstances uncertain. Did the government cover up alien involvement in the death of the hikers? We think so. Tune in at 11. I accidentally clicked on the marker. Uh, game developer struggles with, struggles with getting multi-sensory gaming experience to work. It mostly just feels like bugs crawling all over your skin. Ugh. Good for horror games, though. Uh, logging company owner dies of sudden heart failure. Leaves entire fortune to leading cancer fund. Maybe his death was a good thing, because he was the guy who was like, safety and the environment, eh. And that's why I was like, no, no. Environment important. Uh, can you have a heart attack due to massive guilt? We have the research. Cosmopolis Media aiming to develop a new sex education show to boost healthcare all across the nation. Okay. Collision throws two subway trains off elevated tracks, both operators dead. Ugh. Social media star falls off cliff while taking a selfie. Is that part of the hiking incident? And deep ocean exploration submarine Leviathan disappears near the Coronach, Coronach Trench. Okay, so let's try to like organize these people. So it says at least two that are age 30 or younger. So they're 30. So I'm gonna put the 30 and younger like on the right side. There's only two. Okay, so both of them have to die. Because everyone's above 30, right? At least two humans age 30 or younger. Okay, so these two have to die. I wanna follow the rules today, and then I wanna make everyone live. I want to do that once. Uh, Ken, the receptionist. Ken enjoys their job as a receptionist more than anything. Their infectious smile can turn even the biggest frowns upside down, brightening the mood of hundreds of people every day. Well, that's sad. Uh, Nazir. Nazir loves to be physically active and being a crossfitter suits their lifestyle perfectly. Although the sport gets a bad rap, Nazir is determined to set a great example how crossfit can be formed safely. Unfortunately, they both had to die. And then we have to have three with a scientific background, so... Historian and art forger, art science, but there's the botanist. I guess it's the... F I guess it has to be these, because, like, that's this fraud CEO, so that's not really science. 
the climate scientists, I'm gonna assume hacking, they're considering science because computer science. So let's just mark these. And as we go, we can read it. Uh, Carrie the botanist. Gardening is Carrie's favorite pastime and also their line of work. They enjoy growing edible exotic plants and experimenting with different recipes. They're also an expert in the natural poisons. This kind of sucks. Like, these people aren't bad people. Oh, I barely reached that. Uh, Nyati, online alias Cryptomancer, was inspired to become an IT specialist slash hacker by reading old cyberpunk novels. They were arrested and banned from using any computers for 15 years after they crashed the Cosmopolis stock market. They're still very interested in modern cryptography algorithms. Yeah, as someone who's also interested in that stuff, it, it hurts. Uh, the climate science. We have to have six, right? So we have one. Okay, so then after this, we can pick one more. Um, Lillian? Lillian? I'm gonna say Lillian. Lillian hails from a small village on the coast where they spent their early years studying ichthyology. This later inspired them to turn their attention towards global matters, to the multitudinous interrelated networks that make up our planet. See, sometimes, like, these words, are they necessary to be that big? Like, I understand, you know, you want to sound smart, but, like, are they really necessary? Okay, let's see who's the worst person out of the three. Uh, Glory Magnuson Hellbird. While when still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society and the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interests on societal issues to, gra to gain greater knowledge of history and the uh, myriad structures that affect our lives. Okay, you don't seem bad. Uh, Charlie. Charlie has been helping their brother Albert David hide corrupt money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They also have been accused of insider trading and other fraudulent activities. Okay, current, okay so you so far are pretty bad, but what about you? Uh, Salome. Salome started imitating famous artists as a hobby. Then they discovered their partner was selling the forgeries while telling clients the artworks were real. Salome was furious at first, but due to financial difficulties started to go along with it. An original piece they're most proud of is an oil painting of a bullfinch. I mean, okay, so he doesn't seem bad. He seems okay. So out of the two of these, this person's basically forging art. My thing is, I'm more inclined to kill him because he, is, he was fully aware of what he was doing. This person was just, you know, practicing art. They always say the best way to learn art is to mimic art. I think it's more of an honor partner. And with this one, this should be the last one. Okay, so six are dying. Yes. So we go up. Up, 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 up. Hello. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. I am. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Uh, basic. Just so. Even we cannot stop the constant advance of time. Am I gonna get old? Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. 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 I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. Wow. I did good. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? What do you mean, what must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Um, I'm not sure about the whole rebellion thing. Oh, the fancy of my imagination. Take it as a metaphor. You have, you have nothing to do with the red papers? This reminds me. Have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. Um, where are the, what are the origins of the rules? What do you mean? So... 
do you pick what's supposed to happen? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world, and the people therein, create the situations themselves without our interference. See, I know, like, they're in life or death situations, but, like, who makes the rules of, like, oh, this many people need to die today, and they all need to have this type of background? Our data mongers assemble, collate, and examine wide swathes of data, and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. Uh-huh. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. Okay, if I'm like the pre don't these decisions affect other people? Hmm, in a sense. But this is certainly not a one-to-one -one sequence of causal things. Well, okay. You should consider, time works a bit differently in here. So then going back to the other question, how long is a day? Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. So it's not 24 hours. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region, are you trying to say- I mean, I mean, it seems shorter than 15 days. I don't know if you're trying to imply that it's been longer. Time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, weeks, months may pass at different intervals. Oh wait, do I just like sleep for like just giant extended periods of time? Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond oh. mere four dimensions. So these events may not be necessarily happy happening on the same day, but I get them on the same day? Is that- I mean, that's what I'm getting from this. Maybe I'm wrong. That is why causal links are difficult to establish, and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. When, where can I see the stats for any of that? else? Oh, what is my history? Was I someone? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. Well, where did I come from? The store. And places. Define places. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, do you play chess? No. I oh. am instead particular to this game called Go. Aesthetically pleasing, less violent and imperialistic go? As in, I leave? Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, nope, we're good. Until tomorrow, Grim. Tomorrow, fate. Tomorrow. We already talked to the mirror. 200? Excuse me. Why are we all getting cheap all of a sudden? I don't appreciate this. Don't even have enough to buy anything. Shiver me timbers. Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium. Nope. Okay, uh, we can buy the coin. A coin, the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. But I kind of want the cactus. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for my cactus. In the day. Okay, no speech bubble. Can I buy- can I- I could probably purchase the cactus before Ahoy. work. A pleasure to see ye again. Oh, you have a lamp and a radio. I can't afford the radio. I mean, I can afford the radio, but I can't afford the lamp. I don't. I'm holding out for the cactus. No red papers. Uh, me too. But welcome to our history, a new series on the structures behind the shifts and changes of society. Uh, traffic collision on the West Holder West Hold Motorway claims life of scientists. Two others survive with injuries. Municipal gardener found dead in their own home. Cause of death unclear. The portrait of the dusk initially sells for two hundred thousand at the Royal Art Auction. Turns out to be an impressive forgery. <gasps> oh no! Uh, experimental paint turns out to be toxic to the environment. Any of y'all part of that? Uh, he's retired. Maybe. Uh, suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. 
Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. Good, good, good. Ex-hacker shot in the street. Eyewitness described a black, a black SUV with tinted glasses escaping from the scene. Would you say tinted glasses on a car? Would you just say tinted glass? Uh, youth unmotivated to stay active. Claim no attractive role models left after death of beloved cro- Oh, that's sad. Uh, the prison system has failed society. Okay, so we have the prison guard. The conditions in most prisons are abhorrent and only create more criminal behavior. Well, I already messed up the pile. So it says a total of two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle have to die. Well, guys, it's your lucky day. You're all gonna live. Let's see. Ooh, we have a Jafar, but Alex. Alex is no stranger to some good old ultraviolence. What? And succumbing to some ultra temptations. You're making me question my decision to let you live. But they also, I mean, look, look, they also volunteer at a soup kitchen. Hey, you got a redeeming quality here. Jafar is a mediocre crane operator. They make notable amount of mistakes and blame others for those mistakes. Jafar has an alcohol problem and get abusive towards their significant other. Why did I choose today to let everyone live? I regret everything. Uh, Melita. Melita's doctoral thesis was about calculating the parameters around conflict situations. Afterwards, they decided to put that research to the test in a rough en en enough environment school. They're into skiing and crafting little paper versions of fractals, like the Menger spoon. Spinge. I just almost said spoon. Maybe those two were the guys who were supposed to die, because it's on the opposite ends. I don't know. Uh, uh. Kiji? Kiji made a fortune with their protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune to help the community s See, like, that guy- See, like, honestly, though, this guy probably needed to die, as well as that guy. But we're being nice today. And they don't even have my cactus in the store. There we go, we got Life Giver. I mean, did I do it for the achievement? A little bit. A little bit. Not gonna you lie. Disappoint me. I hoped to avoid having this discussion again. Well, you're not gonna fire me, so ha. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you realize the implications. For the world, and for yourself. It was an accident, I swear. Mistakes happen, but please. Do not be so careless with the fate of the world. Is there a square world. missing on his face? No, that's just a weird shadow. Okay. This will be noted down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Have we? I thought we already had our second warning. Good night, Grim. We are all walking on a tightrope, prone to falling at any moment. See that you do not. You know, I just realized I might have screwed myself over if there's a red paper tomorrow. And if I get fired, I'm gonna have to go back. Because we're making it to the end of this game. Red paper? I'm gonna freaking jinx it, aren't I? Okay, cool, no red paper. Uh, citizen of Araya, Ara, 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 Iria, getting healthier and happier due to increased potato consumption. Teacher uses clever mathematics to resolve conflicts with modest results. Prison guard arrested after beating- This is why I didn't want that guy to live! Uh, read our new article on the post-humanist post perspectives for the future. Okay. Uh, we're not moving anything yet. Uh, fresh idea. I hope you are still well. Motivated from our performance discussion. You will be required to demonstrate utmost precision today. Okay, so you're the bottom row. So... They're dying, right? Okay. So, you three gotta die. Unfortunately, I don't make the rules here. And plus, I don't want to get fired. 
Um, Ivers is a futuristic, animal-friendly vegan and an adrenaline junkie on the road. They spend every minute working to be the best they can be by studying, exercising, and working hard. Ivers lives life like it's the only one they have. Sorry, sir. Your life is about to be over. Jerry. Jerry is a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is ambling near stadiums wearing a cute mascot outfit and, swap and swiping kids who want to take a photo. It hasn't really worked thus far because of the crowds, but when it will, they will demand a substantial... Re yeah, okay, I'm glad that guy's dying. Uh, media slash entertainment mogul. Waltz grew up with a dream of owning an independent film studio, which they established with a partner when they were just 23. In the past 20 years, this small Frolics Productions, and this supposed to be like a Fox knockoff, uh, has grown into the most expansive producer of artistic entertainment news content in the world, bringing a diverse variety of joy and cheer to all. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but you were at the bottom of the pile. I'm just gonna move y'all over here so I can read the others. Okay. I mean, I didn't touch the pile, so we better get a good performance review today. And you guys are the lucky ones who get to live. Sepha. Sepha is an inspiration to all of their students. Although their school is poor, they do everything in their power to make chemistry class as engaging as possible. Using the available chemicals for demonstrations rather creatively, Sepha smells of sulfur at all times. Well, that's still cute. She's trying. She's doing her best, you know. We're gonna... Yes. Okay. Verity. Verity has been working at the pharmaceutical industry for decades, trying to find a decelerator for aging. While lately it seems that the discovery might actually come from biogenetics, Verity is certain they can concoct some sort of chemical compound that gets- Honestly? Good for you. Saint. You're a saint. Okay. Connie. Connie dropped out of high school to become a film star. After years of attempts, they only managed to land one role in a rather embarrassing commercial. Turns out, the competition for becoming an actor is vast. Can relate. Can relate. Can I like... Oh. Oh. Good enough. Sorry, I'm kind of getting bored and I'm wanting to draw on them. Uh, Sifiso. Sifiso. Constructs buildings, not much else to it. They try their best to manage balance between the demands of the clients and ex the experimental ideas of architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. That's cute. Okay, I was like, did I mark hers? Uh, I'm gonna increase your beard. Yes. Okay. I'm satisfied. Yes. I don't know if Fate could be unhappy with me right now. I did what he wanted. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Explain. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? I mean, potentially. Perhaps. We do still hold some control over the leavers. Could they achieve immortality? To put us right out of business, and you out of existence? I guess that would be kind of bad. Would you really trade yourself for them? What a time it would be for us all. A peaceful time. I mean, define peaceful. Oh, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Actually, I do have thoughts. I am all ears, Grim. Uh, don't you think this flows too one way? Such is the nature of loyalty. Well, you're... You're, you're not giving me anything in return. Ha! Huh, grand. A reaper demanding its due. I want my backup. I want someone to watch my back whenever their cat steals my papers. Unfortunately, you will just have to live with it. <laughs> live. See what I... Where is your yes, yes, life? yes. I'm not living. Ha ha ha. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Well, I didn't get my daily review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you... I want to know if I did it right. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now depart. 
I have things to contemplate. Okay. I shall lead you to your whatever. Well, we got 300 this time. Did I check the store yet? Ye drive a hard bargain, matey. But Mortimer does love a good scuffle. What is that? Boo the gerbil. I'll buy Boo the gerbil. Lord, blimey, how did this wee monster even get here? Uh -huh. Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Is it like a childhood Found toy? A tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. Styx. A Greek. Story. Greek. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when he stroke it. Stroke it? Don't squeeze it? I will say, though, this is completely unrelated, but, like, uh, I used to watch this show. It's called, like, Class of the Titans. And I swear, the voice actor for Fate is, like, s reminding me of Thanatos, like, hardcore. I was, like, chilling down there. And so whenever I saw the sticks, I was like, Greek? <gasps> Red paper! A uh, media mogul dies after sudden case of illness. Law enforcement suspect, suspect poisoning. Pseudopharma introduces new and very expensive pill that may slow aging down by 1.9%. I guess we can put our money up. Uh, the economical pseudo oh, pharma stocks go through the roof after, announce after announcement of new anti-aging pill. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Stadium officials confused. I'm not going to touch the pile yet until- Well, no, we're going to kill that person anyway, but we just got to see what the thing says. Um, the Dragonhead Gallery to host an exhibition of intricate wooden sculptures. Aspiring fil film star finds a new avenue by becoming a mind fluencer. What is a mind fluencer? New study reveals too much exploitation in the IT sector. Oh, that's great. Okay, I had to spam it. Every other pro- okay. Life should not be too predictable, do you not agree? We could use a little bit of an alteration and alternation every so often, and I have just the thing. So every other profile. So if I kill this one, then I have to kill the poacher. And then I kill... That one, and then- okay. Marie. For decades, Marie has driven grim, right? You need to keep your eyes open. Listen. Think. Have you noticed what's going on? Do your choices make any sense? Does any of this make sense? To see what they're hiding, you want to mark this person for death today. Okay. I want to follow the rules, though. So that means this guy lives. Amandus. Before Amandus took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned the paper into the tabloid powerhouse we know today. Oh, he's an editor-in-chief. Uh, while recklessly digging through the lives of others, they used the paper to suppress rumor about themselves. I mean, freedom of the press. We ain't suppressing that. Uh, but you have to die, unfortunately. Oh, you're a poacher. Yeah, yeah, you die. Amy is a gifted hunter who recently found a way to make a decent living with the skill. They hunt- yeah, no, hold on. The elusive mountain cats for their fangs, which are thought to cure- No, you're bad. I'm good. I'm glad you're dying. But you live. Asteroid hunter. Began as a constant stargazing- oh, it's Zara, too. Uh, what, be what began as a constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the asteroid destroyer unit in the military. Okay. Fortunately, this man has to die. Uh, waste disposal. Samir loves the environment and hates littering. Aww, this is a good man. And now recycle garbage with a fiery passion. They've helped make several waste recycling plants more efficient and constantly edge. Aww, never. Aww. Anderson. Anderson has saved countless have saved countless of business from going completely bankrupt, yet for the only business they can't seem to save at all for some unfathomable reason is their spouse's DVD slash CD rental shop. shop. It is steer- yeah. I mean, Blockbuster is dead. I mean, I, I didn't even- like, low-key. I used to go to Hollywood Video as a kid, and I didn't know Blockbuster was a thing. I was like- until I was like a little older, because all we had was Hollywood Video near us, and then I was like, oh crap. Ellie, keyboardist. 
Ellie is not a virtuoso. They also, they're also not exactly what people would call particularly talented. However, they work hard and practice a lot. Their band has started doing all right, and Ellie has been able to quit their service sector job to become a full-time keyboardist. The band has a, uh, but she has to die. Yeah, yeah, because it's alternating, okay. Jake, a self-prescribed chemist. Why is it self-prescribed? Uh, loves to create a new loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen. Jake's latest work involves mixing opioids and uppers. They also enjoy. I just let a man who makes drugs live, and I just said drugs are bad. <sighs> this is what this does to me. Oh, bubble, 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 bubble. Hey there, what you up to, killer? I don't know. What you up to, mirror? What now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Well, I can't let everyone it's live. To look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Ha ha. Grim. The Reaper. You can even roll the R. I mean, I can't roll my R. Because we'd be like Reaper. Yeah, I can't do it. Um. No, I was like, that's my name, Nothing. so what? I believe it's for a good cause, as always. Uh huh. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. Yes and no. If I get fired. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. What do you mean, picked me? Question, what did I buy earlier? Was it this? I think the golden one's new. Cause I, I think that's the only thing that we have that's new. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't think of anything new. We'll check the shop after we talk to Fate. Drop some clues, boy. Grim, I cannot recall if I told you of my idea to become a writer. Well, either way, I may have come to a conclusion. I'm gonna say, I'm all ears. Technically, I have ears now, because I'm a cat, so I don't know why it says metaphorically speaking. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. What? Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. No! I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Can I read it? Certainly, once it is finished. You will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Hell yeah. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, the tedium of profiles. I followed the rules. Nothing amiss here, as far as Aha. I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Ha ha ha. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Why is it- what? So you're just gonna just start writing away at a book. And we got our money. Cactus, please. Batten down the hatch. Yes! Tis a storm of sails. Sails? Face your Buying eyes it. upon this spiky boy. Uh -huh. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of cacti. You mean a just desert? Just get me phalanges on one of these. Flangies. Finally unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did Mub. not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. What do you mean it's a you traveling never cactus? See it move, but boy, does it get around. <laughs> Is it gonna like move around my desk? Oh, that's kinda cool. Might as well buy the radio now. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. Uh-huh. Dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it. I should tell it for Curious if it actually works. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown. And I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for oh, it. Oh, it's a freaking <laughs> e elevator the radio? Has immense power. You turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. Dude, am I gonna have Someone elevator music at my desk? <gasps> it's the little things. It's the little things, I swear. The way they just, like, walk. It's hilarious. Yeah, let's end the day. Okay. I just have to look at my cactus. 
Look at it. Weird. Okay. Well, I'll read this in a second. But I think I'm going to end this video right here. Oh, wait. Before we do that. Oh, yeah. So we can change the music now. I, I don't want silence. Okay, so I guess that's just the basic music. So I have the option to change the music now. Can I? I can't rotate it. Uh, we'll just set you over here. Anywho, without further ado, I'd like to remind you all, I do stream on Twitch. Do not forget, the link will be down in the description box below. And I hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time the day it is when you're watching this. And I hope to see y'all next time.